Hey everyone, welcome back to Nat 20. Uh, today, we're going to do a special Halloween one-off called Bat 20, and I, Clayton, will be the Dungeon Master. Isn't this exciting, everyone? Oh yeah, I'm it's so fantastic. Excited. Which so one are you? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I said, which one are you? The Dungeon Master. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. It was like a joke. Okay. Like, you know, for people who watch Mucho and probably pumped. don't know who any of us are, it was like, wow. Well, we'll oh, work. Clayton, yeah. I normally play Blaze. Very exciting. Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sorry. suffering from a terrible fate. Uh, anyway, uh, so today we're doing a spooky one-off. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please redo this intro? Can you practice a few times before I read, like, what? No, this is fun. No, we're doing it. it. This is comedic gold. Spooky. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, so this is a one-off of my own design that I spent a total of about four hours working on. Uh, but we're located in Camp Fear, which is a newly renovated campground made by camp coordinator Justin. Uh, he's invited... Trudeau. What? <laughs> no, totally normal name. <laughs> anyway, Justin, the camp Trudeau. coordinator, has hired all Stop. of you to be counselors. Uh, the kids are supposed to arrive tomorrow morning. Um you are right now you're in the main hall sitting around the fireplace mm -hmm. uh, a bunch of chairs are pulled out it's like you guys just had a meeting uh -huh. um justin's sitting down regarding all of you uh you you've always known justin to be very friendly and kind of like strangely enthusiastic he's the bad guy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling uh, um there were a lot of rumors that it wasn't actually going to go through the camp was going to happen because like 50 years ago there had been some mishappenings uh about 14 people died uh oh, dude. wow that's wow low. yeah so it's a cursed camp known by many um so it was kind of surprising when he decided to spend thousands of dollars renovating it for a new camp but he's determined and so you could probably understand his forced enthusiasm uh, so far, everything has gone pretty peachy keen, though. Nothing seems to have gone wrong. You guys have been enjoying yourselves. Everything is set up and ready to go. It's just a matter of waiting for the kids to arrive in the morning. Uh, so you're sitting there with Justin around the fireplace in the main hall, uh, and he's telling you guys, um, now that everything's done, we've got a few hours before night begins to set. It's going to be great. I want you guys to go out there. I want you to enjoy your shelves before the shelves. Justin had newly renovated shelves, I bet. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> the shelves. Oh, I can put all my bottles Sorry. on you. I've creatively decided that Justin has a horrible lisp. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Justin says, um, thanks you guys for, what are you doing? Don't mind me. Okay. Justin says, um, I want you guys to go out there and enjoy yourselves before it gets dark. Uh, you all know where everything is. Uh, I do want everyone to sleep around midnight and you'll be up early uh, to the children when they arrive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so trying to stay up too late uh, I bid you all farewell though enjoy yourselves uh, and then he gets up from his chair uh, pats down his knees and he makes his way to the second floor where his bedroom is supposed to be and his offices are okay. you know that's where he keeps all his paperwork so he's probably going to do some last minute permission slips all right. mm. Fuck yeah. so you guys are all standing there with the rest of the counselors <clears throat> there's Scary Gary uh, he's a very big burly man Looks like he probably plays football yes. every day of the year. Um, <laughs> bald, and he's got a mean look. Uh, you guys know Scary Gary is like a total dick, essentially. Uh, no one knows why he hired Scary Gary. Maybe as like protection. Uh, <laughs> he's a, a bouncer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> essentially, he's like a bouncer. <clears throat> there is Nessa, a really pretty girl with uh, long, dark hair. Um, Jessica... Uh, she's got like short blonde hair and you know that she's the range master. She was hired specifically to take care of the archery range. There's Trent, squirrely little bastard. Uh, <laughs> he's got round spectacles and mm -hmm. you all know him pretty well as like the biggest nerd you've ever met. He plastered the entire wall beside his bed with Star Wars posters. That's awesome. Despite only being <laughs> here for a few days. Uh, <laughs> that's Trent for you. That's Trent. That guy Trent. What a guy Trent. <laughs> that guy, hey. Uh, and then there is also, uh, who am I missing? I think it was Philip. Uh, Philip is the kitchen cook. Kitchen cook. The camp cook. Um, he's also staying in the main hall with Justin because that's where the kitchens are. Mm -hmm. You guys probably just enjoyed a fabulous dinner prepared by Mr. Philip. Uh, he's a older gentleman, probably around 30 years old compared to most of the other counselors. Uh, you don't know much about him. You don't talk to him that much. He kind of keeps himself. There's no reason for him to go around camp when he's just supposed to cook meals. <laughs> and then there is... 
<laughs> hey, what are you doing out of the kitchen? <laughs> Come back in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that's everybody. So if we want to go around, uh, we'll start with you, Gage. You can just introduce your yes. character really quick. Yeah, uh, I am Todd Toddly. I'm a half elf. Uh, I'm 17 years old and really charismatic. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, Todd. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, like, hey. Should I just like, like AA <laughs> meetings? Everyone say hi, Todd. <laughs> hi, Todd. Okay. <laughs> should I like uh, introduce it like as my yes like, myself, yeah. Kenneth, or should I yes. be, like talk like no as a third person? Well, Kenneth. you guys have all been here for a few days, so it'd be kind of weird if <laughs> your characters suddenly stood up and said, "Hello." Oh! <laughs> uh, my character's name is Kenneth. Uh, he's he's twenty five. He's in the prime of his life. Oh, God. He's human. Oh no. Um, he is really charismatic, but he's not very intelligent, and he likes to think that he's strong, but he's a lot more talk than he is. Yeah, active. surf's up, bro. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Hell Good job, yeah. Kenneth, man. Dog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's up, Kenneth? Everyone say hi, Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. What's up, Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zach. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, introduce your characters, Zach. Uh, my character is William. I'm a yeah. wood elf, and... Uh, he loves solving crossword puzzles while sitting on his bed. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> nice. Uh, what's your name? William. William. Okay, everyone say, hi, William. <laughs> hey. <Cool. laughs> hi, William. Awesome. All right, okay. Sebastian. Peace upon you, my bros. My name's Brother Ferguson. Cool. <laughs> I'm a, a priest. I'm wearing uh, your guys' camp clothing. Uh, just in a priest-style <laughs> uniform. Uh, but don't mind me, I'm just here to show you the ways of the Lord and make you have a better experience all around. Hi. Peace be upon you, everybody. Hi, Brother Ferguson. Hello. Canonically, who's the Lord? None of your business. Okay. Hey, that's okay. a rude okay. question to okay. ask. Sorry. Uh, Unacceptable. Whatever. Now introduce yourself, Duncan. Uh, I, my character's name is Riku. Huh. He's a weeb. And a cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Basically just playing yourself with the courage to dress up. And he <laughs> is 17 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, And buddy. he's here to make friends and have a good time and hopefully find some people who are into anime like him. Oh. Well, yeah, your 25. best bet is probably... You and Trent probably have talked quite a lot. Uh, I fucking hate Trent. <laughs> <laughs> what, did Trent what did Trent do? Wow. <laughs> I can't yes. stand people who are just blatantly into things like that. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Trent stands up and he says, You're dressed up like TV <laughs> characters all the time. What do you mean? This is my personality. This is who I am. You're blatantly into being a dick. And then Trent leaves. <laughs> quite quite disheartened. <laughs> but yeah, so all right. the five of you, along with the other counselors, minus Trent, who ran away, uh, <laughs> You're all sitting in the main offices, and you've been told there's probably about three hours until sun begins to set, so you guys have a few hours just to enjoy yourselves, go around, do what you want. Okay. Yeah, you haven't had much chance to really enjoy the campground as a full. You've been busy helping with renovation, setting up different activities, uh, so this is your chance to just enjoy yourselves. Okay. Uh, just a question. How old are the kids who are going to be? At the, the kids camp? are probably about... 10 to 13 is, like, the general right. age. I was picturing, like, 15, 16, and, like, I was also... You're... Yeah. So. <laughs> but, <laughs> it would have yeah. been weird for you to do that, yeah. No, they were probably about 10 to 13 years old. Nice. Pro no. <laughs> wow. So as you guys are waiting, decide on what you want to do, you see Scary Gary and Nessa talking in the corner, and then suddenly they just begin to sneak out the back screen door... You don't really know why. You can Nessa. assume uh, as you've grown closer with your new friends, you've learned that Nessa's just the type to sneak guys out the back screen Yo, door. So. I was definitely going to ask Gary Gary if you wanted to pass the old pig skin. <laughs> you <just> did, bro. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'm super into Nessa already, even though it's only been three days. <laughs> you truly so are weird. You already shut on Trent. <laughs> I'm going to sneakily follow them. You're going to follow them? Yeah, I'm going to stop follow them. Okay, uh, roll a uh, stealth check. I will too. You, uh, roll stealth check as well. Anything Natural that's not 20. lordly, I do not approve. Natural, Natural 20. 20. All right. 
You mean bat 20? Oh, okay. Bat journal 20. 20. <laughs> yeah, from now on, natural 20s for the spooky fest that we're having. Can hey, we just going to be instead of one? saying natural 20, can we just like make a spooky noise? <laughs> so anyway. I'm like, Woo! Okay, yeah. that's, 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 as your DM, I decree. <laughs> roll or can we draw. say it in a spooky way? I was going to okay. okay. Anyway, sorry, so that, uh, what'd you roll? Eight. An eight. Okay, and, and you rolled a natural 20. Oh, sorry, you rolled a. <laughs> 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 I feel like you'd Bat definitely 20. be interested because, like, if they're committing sins in back there, oh, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> they're sitting. I'm worried that they're maybe she's just going off to help him with like his math, math homework. homework. <laughs> right. So you're gonna carry the three yeah. <laughs> and then put it in my okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is already pretty scary. <laughs> so, uh, Riku, um, yeah. you fall close behind. Uh, You've been obsessed with Nessa for the last little while. <laughs> Um, so you're... <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Let me talk, damn it. Uh, uh, so as the screen door bangs shut and swings back open, you're very quick. You slip in sideways through it before it even closes a second time. So, And then um, over awesome. the grass, your feet make absolutely no sound. You s- quick as... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, you quickly slide, slide in behind one of the nearby trees. Um, just as you hear a sudden bang, and then the door slams shut again, you hear a curse, fuck! <laughs> and you look behind you, and Brother Ferguson is struggling with the door. Uh, and then he opens it, steps outside. Nessa and Bull Scare Gary stopped at the edge of the woods, and they turn, and they look at they look at you, Brother Ferguson, and then Nessa goes, what? What do you do? My, my children. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a you hear bit scary of... go going out this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, hey, no, I'll walk up to them with like hands open and everything. Look, friends. Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> you guys ain't committing any sort of sinful acts, are you? That's not like the Lord, you know? I hope you're out here and I hope you're praying to God. <laughs> That's what I think. You, you hear scary go, I'm praying to God, you'll fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you want Nessa just. Just laughs daintily <laughs> and uh, gives a wave of her hand to Smith and says, I don't mind a third. <laughs> <laughs> a third for praying. <laughs> well, now this I can get on board with. All right. Everybody on the knees. <laughs> <laughs> Riku, um, you're standing behind the tree. I'm the one with the shadows. <laughs> you're the one with the shadows. <laughs> peeking around the corner, and you see Nessa suddenly start to get down on her knees. But I'm scared. <laughs> Mary grabs her arm and lifts her up. She says, not like that, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, he steps forward. He <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, he grabs Brother Ferguson by the front of his... Your... What's it called? Grabs him by his collar and he lifts you up off your feet just a little bit. And he goes, "Time to scram, Jesus boy!" And then, he, <laughs> <laughs> and then he throws you down on your butt. Now, now, that's not the Lord I represent. <laughs> he's already turned. He's begun to walk away. Oh. And Nessa, after a moment of like hesitation, decides that it's best you should follow Scary Gary into the woods. <laughs> Scary Gary, I'll remember you. I hope you know that. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> and then they slowly disappear into the shadows of the woods. And Riku, you're left seeing a very confused <laughs> and slightly hurt looking uh, priest. I follow them. I what? follow them into the woods. I don't want to describe this to you. <laughs> uh, roll another stealth check. Okay. 18. 18? Okay. Um, you... <clears throat> Quickly and easily enough, you, you keep a safe distance to the point where even if there was a slight noise, they would just assume it was maybe a raccoon or something. <laughs> so, um... Is that a tanuki? Yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... Um, you, you weave and wind through the trees, uh, keeping behind most of the trunks to avoid detection. Uh, eventually, they do reach just a small, like, little clearing, barely, like, five feet by five feet across, just, like, a little gap in the trees, and you see Scary Gary begin to remove his shirt. <laughs> As does Nessa, and you can assume you know where this is going. You should shadow clone Jitsu. <laughs> Surround them. Should, should I, uh... I'm you for Uh, yes, actually. I think that'd be great. Okay. Well, initiative. Okay. Well, what, what, what are we going to do? I 
want to join them. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm really Player split. Three has I'm, I'm I'm feeling a little indecisive because I I'm super jealous and I'm like yes, uh, what the? and I <laughs> I've been staring at I, you. I kind of wanna. Days. I kind of want to confront them, but I also want to kind of go back to the cabin and run away. Okay. Can you roll D4 for me? Okay. I got a two. You got a two? I got a two. Okay. Uh, so you see them. Uh, clothes begin being thrown off to the side. Uh, your jealousy seeds in, inside of you, but you manage to muster the strength to look away, and you make your way back towards okay. the main hall where right. you know there is a priest on the grass and probably three very or four sorry jessica hasn't left uh four very um, bored other counselors I, sitting by the fire wondering what to do i uh i approach jessica and i'm like jessica <laughs> you want to throw the old pig skin around <laughs> <laughs> she regards you with something that looks like amusement and slight pity <laughs> um is that a yes <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Uh, she goes. Um, sorry, Kenneth. I have to. I'm just gonna gonna go double check the archery range, and then she like backs away, turns around, and leaves. All right. Yeah, you better make sure those targets are still up there. <laughs> um, is Philip around? <laughs> Philip. Uh, he's. You haven't seen Philip. He's. You can assume he's probably in the back getting food prep ready for um, tomorrow. Harvest. <laughs> Uh, I go back there to find Bella. Go back to find Bella. Yeah. Okay. Is anyone else going with him? Bella. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Uh, you, as you expected, Philip is just in the back kitchens. Um, he's just like organizing. He's cutting up uh, fruit and veggies because tomorrow is their big breakfast, so he's had a lot planned. Um, so he's just in there. He's just chopping up <coughs> veggies. He sees you come by. He goes like, "Hey, Kenneth, what's up?" Yo, Philip, uh, you want to throw around the old pigskin for a little while? Kenneth, you know I love tossing around the pigskin as much as anybody, but I have a lot to do. <laughs> All right. It's about uh, like 50 kids coming here tomorrow. I got to make sure I got everything set up and ready to go. No, for sure. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just go throw it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that builds character. <laughs> See you around, buddy. <laughs> I need some of that. <laughs> He's gonna walk back. You need a lot of stuff, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that means, so I just continue yeah. walking away. He's gonna continue chopping up his veggies. Uh, nice. He seems unsurprised by your behavior. Uh, <laughs> I love Philip. Yeah. As you make your way back to the main room, uh, you two, are you you're two doing anything? Uh, Todd, I'll, Toddly, and William? I'll suggest, yo, do you guys want to go to the lake? Chill out there. <laughs> Do I hear that? Yeah, you would hear it as he's coming back in. <laughs> Yo, did someone just suggest the lake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I, like, yeah. scurry out from the kitchen <laughs> to the fire. Are we going to go fishing? Are there, are there fish? In the <laughs> uh, you, if you like fishing, you could have brought your own. Um, you do know that upstairs... <laughs> fish? No, fishing rod. Yeah, yeah. Oh, or if I said it with their fishing gear. No, Sorry. Yeah. Uh, there are fish in the lake, obviously, yeah. Uh, obviously. You, you would know that because you guys have been uh, mapping out routes around the lake with, for canoeing. Um, and you do know that there is some old fishing gear in the second floor in the sports equipment room in the main hall. Unless you brought your own, which at one point would be in your cabins. I definitely brought my own fishing gear. <laughs> then it would be probably next to your bunk in cabin seven. Eight. I'm going to show you youngers, your youngsters how to fish. Uh, meet me at the lake. How old? <laughs> <laughs> I am um, 111 years old. <laughs> oh, what is that? All right. Fits right in. <laughs> Which for an elf is actually quite young. He still has uh, lovely grace about him. Yo, I only... Is it like elf puberty? <laughs> yeah. 111. Basically, okay. I I am down to, to play oh. some ultimate frisbee though. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. Uh, okay, uh, brother Ferguson Riku. Yeah. Uh, yeah, both of you would have met up towards the edge of the woods. Are you gonna head back in? Or are you gonna do your own thing? It's up to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little detour. I'm gonna go take a little pee pee <clears> by <throat> the church. See what that's all about. Sure, if you want. It'll probably be about a 20, 25 minute walk from the main hall. It's pretty far away. But, That's uh, nothing there, when you have the Lord on your side. There are marked down paths, and you've probably, knowing you, you would have at least tried to make a visit. Uh, every time you have visited, though, the doors remain locked. Uh, you do see lights and movement, but anything you make, 
any noises you make to attract attention, you're just ignored. But <coughs> we'll give it welcome. another shot. We definitely have to break in. That's pretty suspicious. That's yeah. Why don't, don't we just all change our <laughs> motives? <laughs> to, <laughs> to I don't think that's new objective. objective. <laughs> break into the church. So Todd, Kenneth, William, you're all heading down to the lake, right? Todd, yes, yeah. of course. Um, did you two bring fishing gear with you? No, I, I brought my own ultimate Then you'll frisbees. have to grab some from the sports equipment. I'm not fishing. Oh, you're oh, no! Nope, right, I'm gonna play some frisbee. Well, you'll also need to grab the frisbee from the sports equipment room. So that's that's quick and easy. It's not locked. Um, you guys have had access to that room all week. So, uh, but you'll have to make a pit stop then at William's cabin, cabin eight. Yeah. Yeah. You have to make pit pit blah, 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 blah. a quick pit stop at cabin eight. Pick up the fishing gear, and then you can make your way there. Ferguson, you're heading just to the church by yourself. Uh, yes. Okay, and that leaves Riku. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come back into the cabin just as they're walking out, and because I'm lonely and don't have friends, I'm going to just invite myself along and follow them, but like at a distance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like Kenneth and... Kenneth and them? Yeah, okay. Todd and... Todd. Nice. Okay. Toodley. Uh, as you guys exit the so. cabin, uh, you do see Jessica not too far off. She's heading down this way, mm. uh, and you know she's probably heading towards the archery range. Hey, yeah. um, you guys can make your way towards the showers, and then from there, down towards cabin mm. 8, which is where uh, William is staying, so... Yeah, Logistical question: If you had to compare Jessica and Nessa, <laughs> like, <laughs> like hotness wise, oh, where, where are it's they very at? obvious that Nessa is prettier. Okay, oh, what about but Jessica's not ugly? No. Hmm? What about personality? Personality, everyone loves Jessica way more. <sighs> okay, but she didn't, it's, I it's, can't believe she didn't want to throw her on the pig skin though. <laughs> <laughs> that, that hurt. Sometimes you make her uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. But you know that yeah. she she doesn't dislike you. Um, she's just not a very social person. She keeps to herself. No, that's fine. As opposed to Nessa is a little too social. <laughs> I don't get it. Is Nessa a slut? Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth would know that, actually. Quite well. Kenneth! <laughs> <laughs> right on. But yeah, no, but I, I'll just follow up. <laughs> okay. Um, the sun is still up, but it's getting closer to dusk. Um, it's turn, turn, the sky's starting to turn more orange in color, but, uh, the path is still easily seeable. Um, you make your way down to reach cabin eight. That's probably about, uh, t- also a 25 minute walk, actually. So you would follow Ferguson for quite a while till you probably hit the showers and that's when your paths would diverge. Um, we'll go with you first, brother Ferguson. You're just going to the church, right? Yeah, okay. you betcha. Walking alone, it's unnaturally quiet even for this campground it's always had kind of like a creepy spooky feel to it you know um but for some reason you don't hear anything tonight nothing in the woods nearby usually there's a few crackling twigs usually there's some noise but nothing which might make you a little nervous but you don't think too much of it yeah Mm, okay the lord is on your side the lord is with me to reach uh the church isn't actually a part of the camp at all it's been there before then um justin offered to help renovate it but he got denied because the the priest there is super recluse, reclusive. He doesn't talk to anybody. He stays there. He basically lives in the church <coughs> uh, and tends to the graveyard in the back. Uh, so you'll have to go through the abandoned cabins to get there. And once you do, there's just a black gate kind of rusted over. Uh, when it opens, it creaks like it hasn't been oiled in about 30 years. Mm. Okay. Uh, you make your way. Uh, the front step is just a series of circle cement stepping stones leading up to the front steps of the head of the church. Another smaller chain-link fence spreads out as a little square within the bigger gate, and then in that, in the backyard, is where the tombstones are. And, you know, you've seen him before, tending to them. He just waters the flowers, <laughs> mows the lawn. Waters the graves. Waters the graves, <laughs> yep. Uh, Feeds the graves. Uh, summons <laughs> demon. No. <laughs> no. He, Please chat. You just know that that's all he really does. He doesn't really leave. He doesn't do anything. You did see him leave once, and he just returned uh, with groceries. Uh, but that's the only time you've seen him actually leave the church. Is he in the graves right now? No. Uh, the, you can see the light on in the church. So okay. You assume he's inside. Uh, I will go up, I'll knock on the door, and I'll go, Father, I wish to speak it with you. <laughs> no response. You just see some shuffling movement inside, though. Father, I can see you moving around in there. <laughs> You're not see fooling you. me. I won't forget you. <laughs> the Lord sees all. You see the shuffling go faster, like he's suddenly moving out of the way of the window. <laughs> okay, I have a second to talk about our Lord and Savior. <laughs> I'll go and I'll like peek under the door. Can I see anything? Can I see? Uh, make a perception check. 
Oh. Uh, 15. 15? 15. Uh, so, even from under the door, it's hard to see, but you catch little glimpses when his shadows of his feet, because you know he's standing by the door now to avoid the window, because uh, you've kind of freaked him out. But um, you can see it's not a very large church, very small. Uh, there's a little raised dais where he probably does his speeches and, like, uh, benches for where people to sit. Uh, and then in the back, you can sort of see another door, which you assume leads to the bedroom. It's dimly lit by an oil lantern. Otherwise, there's no source of light. Okay. Father, I hope you know that I just want to figure out what it will take for me to be a part of this church. Damn you, son! <laughs> you hear it from the side. Pester me day after day after day after day! Why won't you leave me alone? Because I just want to serve the Lord in your graceful land. Graceful land, it's a damn graveyard. <laughs> There's nothing here. Why can't you bastards leave me alone? You kids, every time you come to this camp, you 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 you, you come here, you interrupt my, my quiet time, you attract sociopaths with knives. I don't understand it. I'm just trying to attend to my church. <laughs> but father, I don't understand. This is the way of the Lord. Why will you not give me a simple chance? The last time I opened my door to one of you cursed children, I almost got killed. I am not a cursed child, though. I am a member of the Lord. The me- <laughs> Usually as a, a priest of the Lord, that would soothe me, but from you, for some reason, it doesn't feel right at all. <laughs> hmm. Listen, I'm not opening my door to you damn kids, all right? I refuse. Ever since the last time some idiot thought to renovate this camp, uh, blood everywhere, it took me a week to clean the gravestones. Is there something sharp around here? Uh, there is not, um, unless you think grass is sharp. <laughs> the priest's yeah. cutting wit. Uh, do I have anything sharp on me? No. <laughs> There's nothing sharp uh, on you or nearby. The best you could think is maybe a rock. Break a fucking I'm window. Grab a rock. Oh, You're gonna grab a one rock. One that looks like it has a sharp-ish edge to it. Something jagged. Um, um, make a perception check. Roll to find sharp rock. <laughs> What's your alignment, by the way? Just ask him. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> God. Uh, that's ten. 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 Um, you don't find anything jagged or sharp at all. You find a bunch of smooth stones on the gravel. This would be good for On skipping. the stepping stones, there's yeah. a few How chips many? that have broken off. They're, they're quite uh, round. They're not exactly very big or large enough to really uh, do any damage. How many stones would you say there are? <laughs> well, it's a grass lawn with round stepping stones. So even finding a few is kind of lucky. Maybe uh, two or three. Okay. And they're very small. They're about uh, the size of like a peanut. Not is there just the one entrance? There is. The rest is blocked off by the chain link. Uh, Maybe you can climb over that. Break a gravestone. Okay. Never mind, I won't do that. Then. Um, Alright, Father, well, I hope you know. I will remember you. And I will be coming back every single day until you let me in these doors. That's... The Lord will not deny me. <laughs> Alright, kid. Will not deny me. <clears throat> Whatever gets you through the fucking night. <laughs> and I'll go under the door and whisper, you will not deny me. <laughs> you hear like I'll shuffling as he steps back and then you hear a uh, oof. <laughs> he, he fell over. Uh and where are you gonna head then? Um I'm gonna head back to my cabin. You're gonna head back to cabin eight. Eight. Okay. Uh so you make your way down there. As you're leaving the church, you guys would probably be just arriving at cabin eight. Um it's larger than most cabins. Uh cabin seven, cabin eight are the counselor cabins. They uh they're much larger because they house adults and you guys keep some equipment there. Um, there's just the one entrance. Um, this one, you, I don't think, who is in this one again? Sorry. Okay, yeah, so actually, uh. Oh, Trent's gonna be there. (laughs) 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 Uh, Uh, Kenneth, Todd, you guys haven't actually been in cabinet yet. You guys haven't had much time to really hang out. You've been so busy, and then usually it's lights out fairly soon, so this is like your one chance to really do what you want. Oh, So you guys haven't been in there yet? Uh. You step inside, and you do see Trent there, as you dreaded. Um, he's sitting. Uh, it's kind of an awkward entrance, because as you open the door, you see his hand, like, gliding down the length of one of his Star Wars posters. <laughs> you think that's Princess Leia. Suddenly, he freezes when he hears the door creak open. He turns to go, he goes, Oh! Hey, everybody! I was just... I was just taking notes on how to talk to the kids tomorrow. How's it going? Just peachy. <laughs> I, I just came here to powder my nose. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I guess that's fine. I was just kind of is, bored. They said we could do what we want. There isn't really much to do. Is here, uh, is Trent weak and feeble? Weak and feeble. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yo, Trent, I know you're kind of weak and feeble, <laughs> but do you want to play some ultimate frisbee with me at the lake? I can't promise I'll be very good, but I can try. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, catching the frisbee is the most important part of Ultimate Frisbee, so. I, I know the game quite well. I studied lots of sports when I thought I might be good at them. But then I broke my leg playing football in grade four and my mom won't let me touch a ball again. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you tried not to hurt. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, sweet. Uh, Would you all file in? It's pretty spacious. There's about... Eight bunk beds. Um, originally, Justin had planned to have a lot more counselors, but a bunch backed out. He couldn't really afford to hire any more. So it was just you guys. So you have plenty of space in here. Um, you're going to grab your stuff then? Yeah. Uh, is the bathroom like closed off, or is there just outhouses here? There are outhouses, and there's a showers. Okay. But that's about it. Cool. I'll just <laughs> grab my fishing gear. Fishing gear? Okay. So you reach under your bed. You grab the case, you slide it out. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do in the cabin right now? Do I notice any? Like, who all stays in this cabin again? Sorry. Uh, this okay. cabin eight yeah. Yeah. is Trent, Jessica, uh, William, and Brother Ferguson. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. Like, uh, I don't know. Do I notice anything off, like, about anyone's stuff in there? Like, uh, uh, it's just, I'm having to look around because I'm just like, make a perception check. Because I just want to see, because maybe, maybe there's something up with Jessica and why she won't play <laughs> football with me. Uh, oh. Uh, oh eight. Okay. Eight? Yeah. Uh, you don't really notice anything. You do think it's funny how, compared to everyone else's beds, Jessica is almost creepily undisturbed. Like, it's perfectly immaculate the way it's been, full, like, uh, hmm. made. Um, mm-hmm. Everything is like, it's almost like someone came in with a ruler. Uh, it's so straight and organized. Otherwise, it, everything seems completely normal. Hmm. Should I creep through her stuff? <laughs> what would Candace do? <laughs> Yo. No. <laughs> I Any got... raid, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you, you should fucking lounge on her bed and fuck it up. Uh, just like chilling. No, I'm just gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna wait. I'm waiting for Trent to get his act together. So you can play frisbee with me? Trent, as soon as you mentioned the idea of inviting him, he scrambled up like a little squirrel. Uh, and he's like excited. He's grabbing his coat. He's like, what should, I, what should I bring? He's like grabbing his sweater. He's grabbing an asthma inhaler. He's grabbing a bag of trail mix. I hate this guy. He's also, uh, he, he has like a little trunk that he found in one of the abandoned cabins. And he dragged it all the way over here to put his excess stuff in. Um, so you see him grab two medicine kits. You can never be too safe in the woods, they say. And he also brought his Yo. How to Survive in the Wood for Dummies. That's going to be actually super helpful when we get destroyed yeah. by demons. But and for now, yeah. let's just fucking write this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> let's just kill Trent. <laughs> so this stuff. Right? Just Trent, take his stuff. Absolutely wicked. Yeah. Okay. For the record, I was right about to catch up to these guys when they entered their cabin. But now they, they, they got in and like shut the door just before I got there. So I'm just like <laughs> just standing there outside. Like, like, should I not? Should I not? So I'm just like indecisively standing there waiting for them to come back out. Roll a d4. Oh, God. Why are they going to keep rolling d4? You wait outside. Okay. Kind of annoyed that they close the door on you, <laughs> but you don't want to upset anybody. Okay. And then make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 16. 16. Um, you hear sudden like, quick footsteps, and then you think for yourself, wonder what that is, and then your instincts take over and you jump backwards as Trent excitedly slams the door <laughs> wide open and just misses your face. Um, you stumble a little bit catching, uh, but you catch your foot and you, you look and then Trent's just there like, oh, we're going to the lake! <laughs> and he like runs past you with his bag clinking and clanking behind him. I loathly stare after him and just kind of like adjust my glasses that aren't there and there's a slight sheen <laughs> <laughs> think to myself that this guy's a fucking idiot anyway, that's all okay uh you guys are making way to lake then yeah okay um let's see brother ferguson you're heading to the cabin eight as well i am all right um you know are you taking the trails or are you going to try and cut through the woods which way is fast cutting through the woods 
You take the trails, it'll probably take you another 10 minutes. Okay. Just I'll to get there. If you cut through the woods, you can get there about three. I'll cut through the woods. Cut through the woods? The Lord is with me. <laughs> the Lord is with me. <laughs> All right. Um, make a perception check. Please be with me, Lord. <laughs> oh. <Easy> trees. <laughs> he wasn't there. <laughs> That's six. Six? Um, <sighs> yeah. You hear a loud snapping noise, like a twig broke, but you think nothing of it and you carry on your way. Okay. And you do see the door slam wide open and a surprise Riku tumble backwards as Trent begins running to the lake going, Yeah, Frisbee! <laughs> uh, and that's where you see. Do you? I will hold my ground and wait for them to leave. <laughs> Creepy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Trent's gone. Long gone. He's having fun. Uh... And then slowly you guys all disperse and make your way towards the lake as well to go fishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I awkwardly stand there as a way for someone to explicitly invite me. But when they all just walk past me, I'm just going to be like, I am the knight and follow them. <laughs> 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 you see this, Brother Ferguson. Okay. Um, yeah, so you guys make your way down the lake. Take It's like a two-minute walk. Uh, sorry, nope. Well, I mean, if you want to go, do you want to go to the boathouse or do you want to go straight to the lake? When I walked out of the cabin and saw him there, I probably would have invited him to. Oh, you're so nice, dog. Okay, okay. All right. But yeah, do you guys want to go to the boathouse, or do you want to go straight to the lake? Because if you go straight to the lake, it's right in front of you. Cabin 8 is right beside the lake bed. Yeah, might as well go straight to the lake. Yeah, there isn't yeah, much okay. of a shore here. It's like a little bit of like rock, like two feet of rock, and then it's just lake. You know that by the boathouse, there's a little more of a beach, and that's where they also keep the canoes. Oh, um, that's that's definitely where I would go then. Like okay. throw the frisbee? Yeah. Canoes, there's also dude. the pier. Uh, so if that's where you're heading, you that or you can go straight to the lake edge and fish. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm just going straight to the lake. Okay, so you guys watch William make his way, just walk straight towards the lakeside with his tackle box at his side. Uh, then you see Kenneth chasing Trent down towards the beach, both of them cheering happily about frisbee, frisbee, yes. frisbee. Yes. Uh, Todd, Riku, what are you two doing? You going to the boathouse or you going straight to the lake edge? I'd probably go straight to the lake edge. I was just going to go for a dip. Okay. If Todd invited me to go, I'd just follow Todd. Okay. <laughs> so the two of you, uh, did you grab fishing gear? No, I'm just no? going for it. And you didn't know what they were doing. So you both are awkwardly kind of standing there. Um, you begin casting out your line. You're just fishing, having a good night. And then you see uh, Todd start to take off his clothes because he's going for a swim. Um, which is a little annoying because that'll scare all the fish away. <laughs> And then you also barely notice Riku standing just off to the side behind you, staring boredly as you prepare your fishing oh, line. Shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. When did you get here, Riku? <laughs> I uh, I see Todd like getting ready to take a dip, and I think it looks fun. Kind of want to join him, but I'm also wearing like eight layers of clothing, <laughs> uh, like different like cosplay and stuff. So uh, it's too much hassle. I'm just gonna stand there longingly and look at everybody having fun. And feel excluded. <laughs> All right, uh, Brother Ferguson. The, they are not far from Cabin Eight, so you actually <clears throat> see this odd trio. Uh, is anyone in the cabin? Anyone in the cabin? No. Uh, well, actually, you don't know. Okay. You can check I'm it out if you want. I'm going to go to go to the cabin now and inspect to see if anyone resides inside. Why are you being so weird? Uh, <laughs> <we'll> <laughs> perception check. <laughs> ah, six. <laughs> totally devoid of life. Right on. I'm going to close the door and lock it. Okay, uh, there is no lock. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to bar the door. Lock. Just bar the door. <laughs> There's no Take way those you nice can lock shelves and put them in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, but the door opens outside, uh, so it would swing outwards towards the lake. So do, putting anything in front of it would just be a minor inconvenience. Yeah, but I can lock it on the inside and prevent it from going from, out, right? Is there a way I like, could... You could tie some, if you have some string, you could tie some string and then tie the other string so they can't open it if you want. I want to locate string. (laughs) Roll a perception (laughs) check. Look through Trent's shit. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's a 14. Um, You don't see anything, but uh, you're smart enough to know that Trent carries a lot of survival gear. So you go to his trunk. uh, You just open it. I, I will open it. Yeah, there's no lock. It's pretty busted. Like I said, he found it in one of the abandoned cabins. Uh, you find about 
four more medicine kits. He didn't grab them all. You find a bunch of weird magazines about Star Wars and cosplay and anime and all that nerdy ass shit. But eight Game Boys. Anything <laughs> that is sexually revealing, I will take. <laughs> you find My anime movies. You find a, uh, a. It looks like a Playboy magazine, but it says. Game Boy, and it's actually a bunch of hentai. I take that. Of popular video game characters. I um, completely purge his chest of anything sexual. That's the only sexual one. Otherwise, it's mostly just nerd comics, or uh, there's a weird book you found there called uh, The Third Book in How to Make Crepes series. <laughs> We're bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that series before, but it, it looks interesting. Crepes are delicious. Um, you also find some more survival gear. You find uh, a flashlight. You find extra batteries. You find a rope. You find um, some fishing string. Uh, you find uh, a baseball. That's it. Okay. How much? Uh, yeah, I'll take that rope, and I'll tie it around the doorknob, and I'll tie it to probably one of the bed poles. I'm assuming they're bunk beds. They're bunk beds, yeah. Yeah, I'll so... tie them to a bunk bed pole so that the door can't open. Okay, uh, make a survival check. Then how are you going to get out? Shh, I can untie it. <laughs> it's not permanent. Uh, that's 13. Okay, um, you don't know much about not tying. You weren't in that activity. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you think that it'll hold decently. If no one's expecting it to be locked, it'll hold quite a while. So you're okay. good. You're, you're safe for now, Brother Ferguson. All right. Now, would I have the knowledge of how to contact my higher man... Uh, you would by this point, yeah. Okay, then I will get on my knee, or I'll make the necessary preparations I got to. If I got to put down candles or something, you would definitely have some in your your <laughs> pack. Hope. In your, okay. This is your cabin, so yeah. I'll go in my pack. I'll grab out my materials of. Uh, I'm assuming I'll probably have some, you know, candles and some chalk and black and red candles. Yeah, some chalk. I'll some... lay them around in the circle, and I will draw my sigils on the ground, mm -hmm. and I will kneel in the middle, and then begin to meditate. Chant and such? Yeah, do my chants. Okay, my we will come back to that. Uh, I'll move <laughs> over to Kenneth and Trent. Yes. It doesn't take you long to reach, especially with uh, you having to chase Trent. He's surprisingly very quick on his feet for uh, such a frail-looking boy. But uh, you guys make it to the beach pretty quick. Um, make a perception check. Sounds good. Uh, oh, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, as you hit the beach, you hear something, just like a quick rustling, and you turn to look, and you see like a glint of metal in the trees, just not far off, and then it's gone. You're not sure what it was, didn't really look like an animal to you, but you do know that Nessa and Scary Gary are making some racket out in the woods, so maybe that's them. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Also, because you rolled a 20, uh, you would see on Shiver Island... Uh, which is like a 20 minute canoe ride deep. You can just see like a little glow. Hmm. That's it. Nothing that would suggest anything strange. Maybe a campfire. Are we able to see that glow on the island too? Uh, yeah. If you both could, all three of you make perception checks as well. It's pretty hard to see, so. 14. Two. Uh, you see absolutely nothing. You're having the time of your life throwing your face underwater and thrashing around, swimming, uh, scaring all the fish away. Uh, Todd! Stop your time! Go over there! Swim, swim! Go over there. Uh, did you roll? I got an 18. 18? You don't see it either. You uh, At this angle, you guys are blocked by most of the trees, uh, so you don't see any light. Uh, you maybe see a wisp of smoke, but I doubt you would have cared. <laughs> You're fishing. You don't have time for that. Yeah, I don't. It. Yeah, I. I don't really care. You don't I see care? it. No, and I'm like, your I'm mind like, is ultimate frisbee mode right now. <laughs> what? Nothing else um, matters to you. So like, I run across on the other side from Trent, and I'm like, ah, catch this one. And I like, <laughs> 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 I chuck it towards him, and I give it a bit of a spin. <laughs> As you do in Frisbee. As you do. <laughs> wow, Trent. Okay. Uh, Trent was in the process of taking his backpack off. And then all of a sudden he hears like a... Backpack. He's like a... You hear, he hears a... Yeah, catch this one. <laughs> and then surprisingly nimble, he like twists as he drops his bag and reaches up and like snatches it in the air. And he goes, I caught it! <coughs> oh my gosh! 
Whoa, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> that was baller, man. Uh, he's going to attempt to pass it back to you. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> the fuck, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Trent, he grabs it and he's like, Opera, he's not sure how to hold it because Ultimate Frisbee is the kind of like a donut ring, right? Uh, like frisbee? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just a normal, just a normal frisbee. We're just ca- we're just passing a frisbee. Oh, okay. Like all he takes the frisbee, game, but he just... holds it. He doesn't really look like he knows what he's doing. Uh, but he like handles it in kind of a weird way, and then like does a few <laughs> test <laughs> throws, <laughs> and then whips it <laughs> as hard as he can. Catch this! And at first, it looks like it's going the right way, and then it starts to angle off towards the lake. And then oh. the wind catches in, it flips up, does a few backflips, and then s- turns sideways and slices its way down. And like I'm running <laughs> to catch it. Okay. Where it, it was going straight for the lake, so roll an athletics check. Sweet. I definitely will, dude. Uh, uh, 11. 11? Yeah. Uh, you burst for a unnatural speed, and you reach out. And you think you got it, but it just grazes your fingertips and it falls in the lake anyway. And it just like slowly bobs the surface. It's not far out, maybe five feet in the surf. Uh, I'm like, oh. And Trent goes, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm not good at this, I told you. That's what I figured, but, that- <laughs> 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 but that's okay, little guy. And I like, I like reach out and grab the, the frisbee. God, okay. Kenneth is so cool. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth, is- Kenneth is a bro. <laughs> <laughs> the nicest fucking guy ever. Um, uh, let's see, uh, as you guys are playing back and <laughs> forth, uh, tossing the frisbee, uh, make another perception check. There's gonna be a lot of these. <laughs> Wait, it's like, look at this <laughs> thing! <laughs> See this thing! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it, it's just a common theme, you will be having a lot of perception checks. All good. Wait, uh, mine's fun. <laughs> uh, same. Uh, 15. <laughs> um... As you're playing, you're about to make a pass when you hear a weird, like, clang, like metal against metal, and like a little rattling. And you turn, you see one of the bay doors to the boathouse, like, wobble. Which is weird because you didn't think anyone was in there. There's no reason to. <laughs> Trent doesn't notice. Actually, that's like super sus. <laughs> Trent does not notice. Trent is happily playing. He, he's happy to finally uh, have a friend. I call out to Trent, I'm like, Bruh. <laughs> Tony, you were too ready for this. <laughs> Trent, I think someone's in the boathouse. Why would anyone be in the boathouse? There's no canoes. Like, I don't see any canoes out. They went fishing. I don't know, man. Do you want to check it out? And, like, he's like, already, he's beginning to tremble <laughs> and shake. You clearly freaked them out. <laughs> oh god <laughs> fuck shit uh yeah let's go check it out uh so we're gonna go check it out okay. why not <clears throat> um you head up uh the boathouse itself is a large like kind of garage looking building with two large bait doors because you know they roll open and that's how they drag the canoes out yeah uh there's also a golf cart in there you know for right. getting around the camp uh and there's one door on the far right side uh you try it it's locked weird Hmm. Um, you don't have the key on you. You know that's in the main hall. You have to ask just for permission to get the key. Are there, are there any windows or anything that I can peek through? Ah, uh, there is one on the back back wall. It's not a very big window, but you can uh, check it out if you want. Yeah, it's so, about seven feet up. Okay. How tall are you? I'd be like f- like five ten. Like so I you think can't I'm... quite reach it unless you had something to stand on. All right, how tall is Trent? Trent, <laughs> Trent, <laughs> Trent is uh, five foot four. All right, so I'm like, let's go check out this window. And see if we can see anything inside. I can't reach that high. Well, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hoist you up on my shoulders and then oh, take a look. Stand on him. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold some mine. Um. No strength check needed. Trent is a very small, frail-looking boy. Uh, and you're a big surfer. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You hoist Trent up, plop him on your shoulders, and he can just reach over the edge there and, like, put his little nose on top and look through the window. And... What are, you, what, what are the odds he sees? 
Nessa and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, he rolled nice. a natural twenty. So, or sorry, he rolled. A- <coughs> <laughs> this is a stupid roll. That's twenty. Yeah. Um. So That's he's looking 20. through and he says, "It's kind of dark. I can't." And he like rubs the window a bit. It looks like there's people in there. I don't know, like a shape. He's moving around. And, oh, I think Nessa's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nessa. Oh. <laughs> Maybe she's in danger. You're right. We should go. I have I have thieves tools. <laughs> Let's break into this sucker. You never know when you need to get into things that are locked. And he like hastily like tries to get off of you. Yeah. So I, 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 I bring him. I bring, oh, you bring him, him down. down? Okay. I land him. <laughs> Okay, you guys run back around to the front door. Um, hero mode is kicked in. You need to save your babe. Um, so Trent is going to try and lock the door. Pissed. Trent's very good at this. <laughs> uh, you see him like get down on his knees and yeah. he puts the two pieces in. He's like, I'm, I'm like screaming. I'm like Nessa, <laughs> we'll be in, the, in a second to save you. <laughs> Kenneth, I can't focus when you're yelling. Just do it faster, you nerd. <laughs> the door clicks open just as a single tear runs down cheeks. The door swings open, and you see Nessa hastily putting on her pants. <laughs> Nessa, what is wrong? You step inside? Yeah. Okay, uh, make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Eleven. Um... You feel something heavy connect with the side of your face, <laughs> and then you stumble off to the side, and you take uh, two points of damage. As what? Scary Gary was hiding beside the door frame, and as he walked in, walked you in the face because you interrupted probably the best time of his life. You know? <laughs> Yo, Scary Gary, what was that about, bro? Dude, you can't just barge in here when I'm trying to get with my girl. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that what was going on. I thought she was in danger. Just because she's screaming doesn't mean she's always in danger, Whoa. Nimrod. And you see well, you see, he's also hastily pulled up his pants. They're kind of sagging as he got the belt done. His you, shirt is unbuttoned, and you see the key to the boathouse. He's the canoe director, so it's obviously you have keys here. Oh. Um, um, but yeah, he looks you, flustered and upset. And his cheeks are red as though he's embarrassed, but Scary Gary's Aww. never embarrassed. Aww. Meanwhile, Nessa doesn't really care. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's standing there with her tits out. No, she's, <laughs> she was hastily putting on her shirt because oh. even she doesn't want to be naked in front of lots of people, but she doesn't seem to mind the attention. Um, <laughs> do Trent, did I actually hear any screaming from her before? No. <laughs> I'm like, well... I didn't hear her screaming at all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like innocently, like yeah. <laughs> Scary Gary's face goes from like an embarrassed red to like a beat angry red. He's like, "What do you know about it, bro?" <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you do see Nessa look kind of like chuckle and like look away. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, boy. Look, Gary, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> scary Gary's not scared of anything. People are scared of Scary Gary. All right. I get, <laughs> I get that, Gary. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just thought Nessa was in danger. And me and my good boy Trent came in to <laughs> save her. As you say that, you turn. And you see Trent, hands still exactly where they were before the door swung open. <laughs> Mouth agape, his eyes wide, he's just staring weirdly at Nessa. Oh um, Listen, you and your scrawny little bitch better back out, okay? The only thing we're in danger of is you ruin a good time. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Throw hands, uh, dude. Um, you are allowed to fight him if you want. I mean, <laughs> that'd be amusing to watch. I'd be like, uh... Whoa, don't call Trent a little bitch. He can catch better than you ever could. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this snaps Trent out of his days. He doesn't really receive compliments very often. But he's like, oh, thanks, man. And then all of a sudden, you see Scary Gary push you aside and, like, grab Trent by the front of his shirt and lift him up. He says, what does it mean? You can catch good? What is he talking about? You better tell me what you're talking about, nerd. And then he slams him up against the wall. <laughs> Yo, 
I do not appreciate that. Trent's my boy. Um, what would we know this happened? No, you guys are like way on the other side. I of thought lake. the boathouse was just like. No, you guys are right by cabin eight, seen yeah. by the lake bed, and then they're way over by the boathouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, you wouldn't I see. We were just like twenty feet away. Yeah, uh, right. actually, make a perception check. Okay. Me too. Yeah, everyone, because when you slam Trent <laughs> into the bay door, it makes a uh, rattle. Uh, fourteen. Not twenty. Wow. Not twenty. Uh, oh, it, <laughs> <laughs> everything it's, it's to you two worse. seems fine. You can't really hear much because your head is going up and yeah. out of the water. You're swimming around. Uh, well, sorry, we'll get back to you in a second. Uh, you're sword biting <laughs> with no sword. I, I found a stick. I was like, <laughs> like stick. waving it around. Okay. But you hear a, like a bang, like thunderclap. You turn and you can only assume. Oh. That startles me, so I yell out. I'm like, "Hey, Dooku, come, come, take my fishing rod. I gotta go. I gotta go do something." I ignore you because that's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That's my hero academia. No, it's not like I just don't think you're even talking to me. I just think you're talking to somebody else named Dooku. Kid, <laughs> <laughs> you with the face. <laughs> I, I glance around. Do I hear him yelling? Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, you would hear him yelling. You're not that far off. You're yeah. swimming. Hey, Todd, what's this guy's name? <laughs> <laughs> I look back. Oh, that's... That's Riku. Riku. <laughs> what, what's up? I think I heard a noise. I'm gonna go check it out. Where at? Over by the boathouse. Riku, come grab my fishing rod. I've already got I got a catch. <laughs> <laughs> you Do you are... actually have a catch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you, are you, you, where'd you, you said you're gone. Where are you going? Well, I was gonna like phase out of existence and run towards the boathouse, but I, I also want to catch a fish. So. <laughs> I'll take the fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> you're just taking the fishing rod. Yeah, I was. Okay, fishing rod. um, you switch swap fishing rods, and then you're making way to the boathouse. Yeah, I run over. Yeah, are you going with them? Swim it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd swim towards there. I think. <clears throat> you're gonna swim. Yeah. Okay, make an athletics check. It's a long way to swim. Uh, eight. Okay, um, so you start swimming, you think you're making decent progress, but then you realize you're probably going too fast, but by the time you come to that realization, your arms, like, slowly turn to, like, lead. Swimming that far isn't that easy, and you start to falter and slow down a lot, uh, and you're worried if you don't hit the shore soon, you're gonna probably start to drown. <laughs> I'll probably go to shore then. Okay. okay, so you pick yourself off right about here. So okay. quick, uh, by the time you got there, we'll say... William would have made it by the boat to Boathouse. But we'll get back to that. Uh, we'll go back to Brother Ferguson, who has finished his <coughs> ritual. Who, what are you trying to do? Um, uh, yeah, so I have all the preparations, and I get on, I'll get on my knees in the middle of the circle, and then I'll begin to speak. I will go, uh, my lord. <laughs> 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 um, you hear a deep voice go, Yes, my precious son. I have found our victim for the change. Excellent, excellent. A good victim, yes. He is the perfect candidate. <laughs> now this, this pleases me. <laughs> what the, the room starts to shake and the light was like, like a gentle yellow turns blood red. <laughs> but this excites you. <laughs> you have a plan, yes? When the moon is full. I have yet to gain access to the church, but I know he comes to the graveyard every now and then. You can't kill him there. You must prepare a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. I will begin preparations immediately. However, I do, if you would be so graceful, require one simple favor. What is it, my child? There is a man in this camp named Scary Gary. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most ridiculous name. <laughs> he deems himself scary, but he has no idea what scary really is. And no, he doesn't. I really wish to teach him a lesson to please me and please you. Oh, I love it when you inflict pain upon the weak. <laughs> I require a ability or weapon of choice, a sign to point me in the direction to provoke <laughs> fear into such a man or embarrass him in such a way. You want to inflict pain or embarrass? Either or. I'm about to do both. <laughs> <laughs> Either I want to humiliate him. Um, and f uh, yeah, humiliate him, have a way to do so, or 
Yeah, it really hurt him. Real bad. Yeah, well, Excellent. Uh, I will give you something of medieval invention. I, it's truly my favorite weapon. Uh, roll a religion check to see if it works. Because we're essentially summoning a weapon. I'm yep. breaking or- it all out. 25. 25. 25. That's what you needed. Um, <laughs> you see flames, like a pillar of flame erupt directly in front of you. And then, like, a, a shape inside, like, a dark shadow of, like, red and black. And it starts to formulate into, like, a thick handle. And then it extends out. And as the flames dissipate, you have a whip. Mm. <laughs> it's not very not very fancy. A black handle with wrapping. And then a long, thick strap of leather that ends in a fine tip. Okay. You have a plus one whip that deals 1d6 damage. Oh, yeah. Plus your, is whip strength or dex? Can't remember. I think it's dex. Dex, dex yeah. Plus your dex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the voice fades slowly as the lights begin to return to normal. And the symbols on the ground you've drawn, they disappear in your candles. The lights go out. And then the voice says, mm, tonight you will have your prize. And then it dissipates completely. And you're left in the cabin. <clears throat> okay. With your new then toy. it makes this Skype disconnect noise. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry, the connection's kind of shabby out here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will... Now that it's all quiet and stuff, I will clean up my, my mess. I'll put all my tools back in my bag. Okay. Um, and once I've done so, I will take out the rope. Oh, before I do so, actually, before I remove the rope, I will find a way if I can conceal this whip in my clothing without it being noticeable, but yet easily accessible to whip it out at any point. Uh, what are you wearing? Just like a... Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing like a priest uniform. It just has the camp coloring on it, right? Okay. So it's still the camp um, uniform. You can attach to your your hip and uh, roll an investigation check with advantage. You're alone. You have, never mind. You have, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's an ooh. <laughs> Excellent. You uh, notice a little lump on Trent's bed. Uh, and as you rip the blanket aside, you see that it's his his coat. He brought his winter jacket just in case he needed it. Oh. You know, if you wear that with this attached to your waist, waist no one will notice it. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll attach the whip to my my hip. I'll take the coat, I'll put it on, uh, I'll take out the rope, and I'm going to take that magazine that I took from Trent's locker. The hentai? Yeah. And I'm going to go to the church. I dig it. You're going to make your way to the church? Make my way to my church with the okay. shortcut. As you leave, though, I will make another perception okay. check. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Ten. Ten? Ten. Uh, you hear another sharp snap of twigs, and as you, you turn, you see a hulk of a frame like hidden in the shadows of the trees not too far from you making his way to the yeah <laughs> making his way to the lake huh <laughs> and then you see because you don't need a perception check for this but you see riku fishing oh, okay. alone <clears throat> and i see a hulking figure making its way <clears throat> towards the lake towards where riku is fishing towards where riku is fishing um oh, come it, on man <laughs> oh, soon this is some guy i gotta keep my cover going um Hello, brother or sister. Um, it is I, Brother Ferguson. Are you talking to me? Or... I'm screaming into this hawking figure. Okay, okay. I Make a perception check. Okay. I'm also feeling pretty left out because everybody left me. 17. So 17. You hear sudden yelling from okay. behind you. You were completely ignored, Brother Ferguson. Uh, as you hear the yelling, though, Riku, you turn and you can see Brother Ferguson like calling out somewhere. You don't really notice it at first, and then you see the frame of this shape making its way quickly towards you. Okay. Its arms out on either side and something long in its one arm. When okay. this figure doesn't respond to me, I'm just going to assume my cover is fine and make my way to the church. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. <laughs> I am going to run. <laughs> You're going to run? I'm going to run. Where are you going to run to? He's going to run towards where... The fish! He's gonna, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're going to start heading your way to the boathouse? I, I was thinking about leaving anyway, because like, th- this guy just gave me his fishing rod, and then they left, and I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. But then as soon as they left, I realized that I just felt left out. <laughs> so okay. I'm going to just, like, I don't want to mess it up, so I'm just going to plant the fishing rod in the ground as best I can, so it's still, like, 
fishing, kind of. <laughs> I don't like, really get fishing. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I fish just gonna like <laughs> tug on it, just gonna steal the rod. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. Then I'm gonna run after in the direction they went. Roll a d4. Are you fuck afraid? Sorry, quick question. Does my dex get added for the damage, or is it the attack bonus? It's uh, so it's a it's a plus one whip. So yeah. you add one to attack rolls and one to damage, and then. For damage, you add your dex, just like with like a okay. melee attack. They're all improvised okay. weapons, essentially. Yeah. Uh, but you rolled a three. Yeah. Uh, you snap the fishing rod over your knee. Okay. And you don't run. Oh, fuck. You see Brother Ferguson leaving you, and you get really pissed off, and oh. you start running towards him. Okay. Me? <laughs> this hulking figure has stopped and paused, and you run by, like, dangerously close. I don't even fucking care. But I still it, have it doesn't... the broken fishing rod in my hand, which is, like, sharp and jagged. And it's like, Ferguson. And yep. I'm running towards him. You're running towards Ferguson, <laughs> and the hulking figure turns. It doesn't try to grab or anything, but it, you do, if you look behind your shoulder, it's following you both. Okay. Uh, Ferguson, you think everything is fine. And then you hear, like, loud. <coughs> and then you turn, and you see <laughs> Riku in his cosplay outfit with a half of a fishing pole in his hand running towards you. <laughs> <laughs> he starts to run it. My brother, what is the problem? I don't stop it, it's just fucking stab him. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You're going right for it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I stab him right in the gut. Okay, roll the hit. Okay. Whoa! It's improvised, so just add your strength, that's it. 16. Charm class? Yeah, that beats it. Mine's 13. Okay, roll a d4. Two. Plus your strength. Plus two, four. Four. You take four points of damage as Riku lunges towards you. You don't have any time to move aside. You try to back up, but it's not enough. And you feel the... Like, it's not a very sharp edge. It doesn't pierce skin, but it bruises deep. And it hurts. And you can feel, like, scrapes of wood run down your side of your chest as he, like, starts, like, flailing and hitting you with this. I kind of like this, but I kind of don't. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I am... Immediately, I will scream once I am punctured as loud as possible. Well, it doesn't puncture. It just kind of, like, it just hits you and then, like, scrapes down. Okay, I'm still going to scream. You scream. Right yeah. Okay. Uh, your moment fades. Okay. And you're straddling a screaming priest as you <laughs> attempted to stab him at the end of a fishing on? rod. Oh, uh, I snap out of it and I'm just like... It happened again. And then get up and <laughs> run away. Okay. Uh, I'll leave the fishing rod behind. I just, like, throw behind. And maybe as he goes to run away, I'm going to whip him in the back. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can try. But I want to do it in a slow where I just whip, and then whip goes back in my coat. Okay. Make a, uh, make an attack roll. That's 15. 15? What's your? 13. Uh, it doesn't hit, because as you lunge it out and it cracks in the air... A hand catches it, and you both have forgotten about the giant figure that oh, was shit. walking towards oh. you, and it's now holding your whip in its hand, and you, can, you can't really see anything. It's still so dark, and like the way you're starting to hit twilight now, there's not much light, but it's much bigger than you, and it's just holding your whip, and I need you to make a strength check. Oh, God, this oh, is shit. not good. <laughs> That's about right. Nine? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Uh, it yanks the whip out of your hand. Oh, no. And you are tumble forwards as it, like, rips from your grasp. And it just tosses the whip aside. And then it, like, starts to move towards you. What are you going to do? Um, oh, boy. This is exciting. Um, yeah, you know what? I, gotta, I, gotta, I have to no matter what. And I'm going to get on my knees and I'm going to start praying. <laughs> oh, go, oh, Lord, please. Uh, shine your divine light upon me. Protect me from this I beast of darkness. Ah, uh, roll a legend. Why check. did you give me a whip? <laughs> uh, you need a big check out this new this. whip. No one. All right, twenty-five again. Twenty-five. Yeah. What the fuck is your yeah. plus? Um, the whip rattles in the grass. You see this, Riku, and it shoots into your hand. And then you hear a voice: "Don't disappoint." You don't hear it. It's just okay, in yeah. your head. <clears throat> Oh, and this whole configure is looking <coughs> over you. You see Riku starting to run away. Yeah, I fucking stealth and I'm gone. I'm gonna try to go. Naruto. Right <laughs> 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 this hulking figure. And I have no idea what this hulking figure is still. No. Nope. It's, it's right over me. It's standing over you and it's you can see now that it has a machete. And it's starting to raise it up. Oh, I'm gonna run! <laughs> You're gonna run? <laughs> I'm gonna bolt. Perfect. That's Ooh. where we'll end this first episode. <laughs>
Thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see and that's the end, guys. That's that's the end. End. Episode of our Halloween special. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, cool. I have to take a piss. Yeah, I got to. <laughs>